Hello, Dr. Jerome Fryer here. I just wanted to go over the details of the included cauda equina with the academic and the professional model as well as the fully clear model. But the, as you can see, we have three exiting nerve roots on the left side of this L4-5 motion segment. And we've only got two on this side because I've pulled off the dural sheath showing the levels of the meninges. And I wanted to demonstrate that the nerve exiting L5 here will be affected by a 4-5 disc herniation. So you can see that this here underneath this pedicle, this L5 nerve root is affected by a 4-5, most commonly posterior laterally at this level. And that's why this one here Right, L4 is going to be affected by an L3-4 disc herniation, most common. Of course, there's, there's far lateral and there's midline, but I wanted to put the most common posterior lateral, which can also be seen you know, by these fissures, these progressive uh, fissures, these tears that develop from the inside out. I just wanted to share with you, often I see people pulling this one out, but it's actually designed to be tucked you can see the dorsal root ganglion is tucked right underneath the pedicle. And we also have, you can see the sensory motor divisions. All right, we can also see how you've got the, the sensory motor divisions is split in two. All right, you can see the nerve roots actually got a, a sort of an anterior motor division and a posterior sensory division. Also, there is the, the uh, posterior primary division gray ray my communicantes, and then we've got the recurrent meningeal. And you can see that the posterior primary division, here's the, you can see this is a uh, the medial branch model, but you can see the posterior primary division. We've got most commonly three level innervation of the facet capsule. But you can see coming off the posterior primary division there, right? Recurrent meningeal, gray ray my communicantes, and in here, you can actually see, I put the, the phylum terminale right on the, in the midline of this, uh, this cauda equina. So hopefully that's helpful.